Welcome to Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples and explaining what it does. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at max. Now the method max simply returns the largest integer in a sequence of numbers. Let's take a look at it now. Let's make an array of data and add 10,000, 20,000, and 30,000. And then let's return. We'll collect that array of data and call max on it. So what do we get? 30,000. That's pretty obvious, right? 30,000 is obviously the largest integer in there. Now let's change this example up a little bit and let's wrap all of these in arrays that each will have a key of price. And here we go. And now down here, we can pass in price as a string and we get the exact same result. Let's jump into a little bit more advanced example. What if we had two fields here that we're going to take a look at? So let's add another one and we'll call it tax. Now tax, I'll default each of them to 500 and then I'll change this one to 700 and this one to 900. Okay, so what if we wanted the maximum of the addition of these two values? Well, in that case, you can actually pass in a function here and this is going to give you the value and in here we can return value price plus value tax. Okay, and if we run that, we get 30,900. Obviously 30,900 is 30,000 plus the tax, which is 900. Let's jump into an even more advanced example. What if we had an active column and we only wanted to account for active fields? Let's say true on this very first one and false on the other two. In which case, we can simply say if is not value active, then return null. And that will completely ignore any results that are not active. Let's take a look at the results and we get 10,500. Obviously, 10,000 plus 500 is our only active field. And so the results of array will be calculated off of this, which is the only active row in that data array. 